In this example, we are going to show the uh, or use the uh, idea of the improper integral to show that the circumference of this circle with radius 1 centered at the origin is 2 pi. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to apply the arc length formula. Okay, so just to recall the arc length formula. Okay, so let S be, let's call this S. So the arc length is, let's say it's going from A to B, it's going to be the integral of 1 plus the derivative of that function squared. Okay, so that's the definition of the arc length. Okay, so this is how we can approach this. Okay, so here, what we can do is we can measure, okay, we can measure the length of this curve from zero, okay, from zero to one, and then um, multiply it by four to get the total length around the circle. Okay, so this part of the graph, the upper part, okay, so we need a function for this. So this part is going to be y equals to the square root of one minus x squared. All right, so that's the positive part of the circle, okay, the positive square root, okay. And we can get this just by solving for y from this equation here, from the equation of the circle. Okay, so we need to go ahead and take the derivative of this function. So let's do that down here. So my function is the square root of 1 minus x squared. The derivative of that is going to be, okay, uh, th again, this is just 1 minus x squared to the power 1 half. So taking the derivative, we're going to get 1 half times 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half times minus 2x. This is going to simplify to give us, let's see, minus x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to plug this into the arc length formula. So S is the integral. Okay, again, we're going to go from, we're going from 0 to, okay, from 0 to 1. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be the square root of 1 plus the derivative of f, which was minus x over the square root of 1 minus x squared, and square that. Okay, and then let's go ahead and simplify this. This is going to give us the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus x squared over 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so this is an improper integral because uh, we're going from 0 to 1, and 1 is not defined for this function, right? Because if you plug 1 in the, into this denominator, you're going to get 0. Okay. So we need to rewrite this in terms of the limit. So this means that we're going to have the limit as the, oh, the approaches 1. Okay, this is an upper bound, so we want b to approach 1 from the left side. And then we're going to go from 0 to b. And then we have the, uh, the square root of 1 plus x squared over 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so then simplifying this, okay. So simplifying this underneath the square root, uh, we end up getting 1 over, well, the square root of 1 over 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so, all right, so this, okay, so this integral, okay, 
um, this is actually the antiderivative of this function turns out to be arc sine of x. So we're going to take the limit as b approaches 1 from the left. of okay, arc sine of x and this is going from 0 to b so we have the limit of arc sine of b minus the arc sine of 0 okay so the arc sine of all right, so the arc sine of, of B, okay, so when we plug in this in, when we let B approach uh, 1, okay, we're going to get arc sine of 1. Okay, so arc sine of, arc sine of 1 is going to be pi over 2. Okay, and then arc sine of 0 is just 0. So that is the length from just the quarter of the circle. Okay, in this case we're just we're going between zero and one. So we want the, the circumference. Okay, so the circumference of that circle is going to be since we have one, two, three, four, right? So it's going to be four times pi over two, and that's going to give us two pi. Okay, so therefore that is the circumference of this. Uh, unit circle.